Happening today, interest on federal student loans resumes after a three-year pandemic pause. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Kutarobles joins us live in the newsroom with what this means for borrowers. Mark, good morning. Leslie, Rachel, this is a dreaded day for student loan borrowers as payments are one step closer to resuming. After that three-year pause, interest on those loans will begin accruing once again today and next month, the next major step on October 1st, when actual payments will resume. These circumstances are far from what the Biden administration intended. The president's debt cancellation policy was overturned by the Supreme Court earlier this summer. There is already a mix of anxiety and obligation. We find ourselves in a situation where because of that promise, a lot of us, literally tens of millions of us, made decisions with our lives to move forward. I didn't give Boris false hope, but the Republicans snatched away the hope that it was, they were given, and it's real, real hope. So that said, the worst case consequences should be avoided here. The Biden administration has put in place a year long grace period where late or missed payments will not be reported to credit agencies. And so for some borrowers based on their financial situation, this will really be more of a soft launch. But borrowers need to be aware that interest will continue to add up. Also important to note here that borrowers will be charged the interest rate that they were paying before the pandemic hit back in March of 2020. The Biden administration, meantime, is not giving up total hope here. There is a plan B. It is still fighting for debt cancellation through the Higher Education Act of 1965. It would allow government-backed student loans and grants to be adjusted, waived, or outright canceled, though details of the plan and who might benefit still unclear. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV and Roku to watch on your TV.